Well, I got a new camera, um, but uh, I gave in and bought a GoPro. What do you think? I've arrived. So yeah, man, after like six or seven years of making videos, it might be paid for. Uh, so there was a little topic I kind of wanted to touch on here. And it's something I see asked a lot, you know, on Facebook and in the groups and stuff. And it's, uh, you know, should I daily a C4 Corvette? And it's a loaded question. It really is. It, it, there's a lot of factors to determine whether you should or shouldn't. It's not a simple yes or no question. And I'm going to go through some of the items I think you need to ask yourself before you really make that answer. I don't think that's anything that someone should answer for you because every situation is different. And uh, I, I love C4 Corvettes. I've owned six at this point. Fantastic cars, great bang for buck. You've heard me rant about them. But if someone says to me, hey Matt, should I daily a C4 Corvette? I'm gonna take that question one way. I'm going to take that question as, should this be my only car? So all my answers here are going to be under that context of someone asking me, should this be my only car? Yes and no. Sometimes always, other times never. So first thing, if it's going to be your daily driver, right, your only car, you need to make sure that you're a single person who's never going to have more than one passenger that's number one if you're cool with that great me myself I never have more than one person in my car ever so for me that's cool no problem I don't daily my C4 but I pass that one so that's the first one are you okay with having no more than one passenger because that's that now sometimes it's a good excuse you know people can ride with someone else <laughs> if you're antisocial like me so the next thing is, okay, how much cargo space do you need? Well, actually, not a big issue in the Corvette. There is ample room back there. I always have stuff in the back of the vet. It's more than, more than what you're going to find in a lot of cars. It's just as much as any economy car is going to have, Honda Civic, whatever. Plenty of room there. Don't worry about storage space. The next, the next thing someone should consider when looking at a daily is reliability. Are these reliable? Well... They're as reliable as any 30 plus year old car. It's all about how that specific one's been maintained. If you get one that's been taken care of, don't even worry about it. It's as reliable as anything else on the road. Uh, parts are readily available and they're not particularly expensive cars to fix. So no, no real thing to worry about there. One note, if it's an early C4 with 16 inch tires, they are getting a little harder to find and a little pricey. I think Coker's trying to get in on that, but we'll see how that, you know, that plays out in the next year or two. But either way, if you get a 17 inch wheel car, no problem finding tires. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna daily it, I would, I would shoot for a 17 inch wheel car because you're gonna be doing tires, whatever. Yeah, save yourself, save yourself the trouble there. Or uh, you can always step down to different sizes if you go with a 16 inch uh, car, but either way that's just that's what I would do um, so the next thing okay got that out of the way it's pretty reliable let's talk about fuel economy fuel economy in these cars is very very reasonable given you know it's a VA powered sports slash touring car this car I average about 20 miles per gallon and I'm doing mostly in town cruising and some spirited driving on the highway We'll test it out in a minute and we'll see what kind of gas mileage we can get over a five mile stretch. I'm gonna say probably around 28 on the highway. You know, and you're gonna see 17 or so in town. And that's where I fall my average of 20. But the other thing to consider is that even though the gas mileage is pretty good, all C4s, regardless of what you hear, should have a minimum of 91 octane fuel. In my state, it's 93. So with current gas prices around three to 350, you're paying an extra dollar, that's about 30% 30, 30 more for every gallon of gas. So that's one concession you might be making if you daily, you know, a C4. Uh, you know, it is what it is. You gotta take the good with the bad. I don't think that's a deal breaker for most people. A lot of cars take premium these days. So, you know, fuel, 
fuel economy, I think that's pretty doable. I think when it comes down to it, the biggest question is, uh, where do you live? You know, for me, I live in Michigan. So, you know, we get snow. The last few years hasn't been that bad, but you gotta be prepared for the worst. So this car is never gonna work for me for 365 days a year. If we get a foot of snow, I don't care if I've got Blizzax, I'm stuck. And some guys get a real hard dick over, you know, oh, I drive mine in the winter. Yeah, some guys might drive theirs in the winter, but do you wanna rely on it every day? Hell no. But if you're further south, where uh, snow is not an issue for you, you know, if you're in an area where you get maybe one light dusting a year or no snow at all, all right, you pass that test. I'd see no issue there. Um, trying to think. So we've covered that. Fuel economy, you know, no more than one passenger. Um, maintenance costs are pretty much, you know, just like anything else. Fun factor is obviously a lot higher than your average Civic. check the fuel economy out here just cruise on the highway see what kind of instant we can get the instant uh, fuel economy here for me it's been pretty accurate I I've checked pump math uh, a few times and it, it matches this within one or two miles per gallon so it's close uh, let's get up to speed here got the AC on uh, doing 70 miles an hour we'll, uh, we'll reset the fuel economy here boom and we'll do five miles and see what we get uh, so yeah back back to the point of hand will we let that average gas mileage soak up daily in the c4 if you are a single person one passenger right maybe you're mechanically inclined where you can work on your own stuff or you've got a mechanic that's familiar with older stuff to keep it on the road for you if you have issues if uh you're okay with premium fuel and about 20 miles per gallon and you live in a fair weather state and by that I mean extremely minimal to no snow at all then yeah I'd say you can absolutely daily a C4 Corvette and I bet you're not the only person to do it you know I've seen other people say that they daily theirs in the groups but most of them are younger kids you know and they really don't give a shit about the car and they're doing it in snow or whatever but in a fair weather stay I say no harm no foul you can drive one of these cars 200,000 plus miles no issue my pro charged LT4 had 220,000 miles on it before it blew up I don't even think the pro charger went on until 180 190,000 miles and it still lived a little longer so yeah, there's, it's all it's all simple stuff. One thing I'd recommend, if you're a car enthusiast and you're on the fence about automatic versus manual, don't even quest yourself, get the manual. It will take longer to find, but if you get an automatic and you truly want a manual, you will regret it. It's far less engaging. It's still a great touring car and a great comfortable car, but, uh, you'll miss the engagement factor. But yeah, we're out here cruising on the highway. Uh, extremely comfortable. These seats are great. You know, these are great back road car corner carvers. But at the same time, you can hop on the highway and drive in extreme comfort all day long. I mean, without issue. And I just realized most of this time we've been going about 65 or 66. So right now we've averaged 34 miles per gallon. That's probably slightly inflated. A little bit of this is downhill. So yeah, it's going to be more like 30. That's probably not accurate, but they're extremely aerodynamic. So they do 30, 28, 27 on the highway. No problem. Anyway, long story short, I wanted an excuse to use my new camera, but Yes, you can 100% daily a C4 Corvette if you meet the criteria I mentioned. If you're in, you know, no snow, single person, no kids or whatever, premium fuel, you know, whatever. That's that's pretty much it. It's it's just a regular car. It's rear wheel drive. 
it's no different than a Camaro other than the fact that it has two seats and the back seat of Camaro really isn't usable anyway you know it's it's just not so you know I, I hope people do daily these in the southern states but anyway I'll wrap that up for the video if uh, if you daily your C4 Corvette or your other Corvette or something you know maybe a little different unlike the common Camry or Accord or whatever make a comment and let me know I I think it's cool when people daily oddball stuff you know um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it kind of answers that question for someone who's had a lot of these cars yeah you can daily one man and I think you should if you have the opportunity I think it's an experience that you'll enjoy and it'll definitely give you some stories to tell and uh, it's the coolest looking $10,000 daily you can get so all right I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I hope you like the new camera I hope it's a higher quality than the old phone and if you like this video there'll be a lot more to come there's a few things in the works as far as other cars that I might be trying to acquire potentially maybe getting rid of the the M Roadster not sure please subscribe if you like it though and uh, as always have fun and uh, enjoy your cars if you got them and feel free to comment with any feedback you got all right thanks